Melody, also known as Sleeved Mel 2015, and I will be getting my surgery on July 2nd, so I am starting my pre-op diet on June 18th. I was doing some research, and I'm like, I don't want to do protein shakes all the time or feel like I'm hungry. So I came up with a great idea. Well, not necessarily my idea, but it's a great idea. I did some research, and I thought, why not do smoothie popsicles have a popsicle in the morning have a popsicle at lunch and then a sensible like salad for dinner so before we start the pre-op diet before i start the pre-op pre-op diet i decided you know what i need to get my body slow go slowly get in there before i feel like i'm starving myself so so i decided today sunday on june 7th a week before my pre-op starts i decided I'm going to become unhealthier me before the pre-op diet starts. So I got some ingredients here and we're going to do a smoothie and then we're going to put them in popsicle form and uh, we'll see how this goes. So here's some ideas for those who are just starting their pre-op diet, their two week pre-op diet. We're going to make some smoothie popsicles. Here we go. Okay, I got a ninja. The ninja is the best thing ever. I love my ninja. Okay, so first I already sliced and diced and peeled apples. So I'm gonna put a couple apples. I want this very sweet, naturally sweet and juicy. Okay, I've got a bowl of spinach, baby spinach. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. And before I add any more fruit, I'm gonna add some ice to weigh it down a little bit because it's going to be a smoothie, it has to have a little bit of ice in there. Then I'm gonna add some strawberries. Mmm, it's gonna be delicious. Then I'm gonna add some watermelon. So watermelon will bring out a lot of sweetness and juice. Then I cut one lemon, and I'm gonna squeeze a lemon just for a little bit of lemon flavor in there. Make it just a bit tart. Squeeze that lemon in there. And then, last but not least, this is optional. I'm going to try it with grapes. Why not? I'm gonna add some grapes. And you can use to your discretion on how much of each fruit, if you don't want that fruit, if you don't like that fruit, whatever. This is an energy boosting type of smoothie. So I figured why not have it in popsicle form since I'm supposed to be having popsicles on my pre-op diet anyway and I'm not adding any sugar so but if you felt like you had to add any sugar and this tasted a little bit bitter or sour I you can use this wholesome sweetener I got it at Costco um, organic blue agave sugar it is a, a low glycemic organic uh, organic sweetener made with agave nectar from the Weber just like that Looks just like that. It's a hundred percent organic agave sugar, and um, it's great. All you need is not even maybe like half a tablespoon, maybe a teaspoon, because it's very sweet. So I'm gonna try it without that first and see if I like it. So here we go. We're gonna put it in the blender. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it first, pulse it to get it somewhat mixed up. I don't know if you guys can see my blender. Pulse it to get that ice chopped up. Okay, and now we're gonna blend. OMG guys, I forgot one thing. I totally forgot an ingredient. Optional if you want to, because blueberries are not necessarily always sweet. But these were promoted as sweet blueberries. We'll see. We're gonna add a few blueberries to this because I like blueberries. I like blueberry pie, blueberry flavor, everything blueberry. So let's add those blueberries and blend. Okay, 
Now that it's blended, I am going to give it a try and see if it's sweet enough for me. Twist it off. That is pretty good. My recommendation for me though, but you know what I really like, is watermelon flavor and apple flavor. So I'm gonna add some more because there's not much, I mean there's more room, I can add more things. So I'm gonna add more apple and not waste it. And watermelon's gone. Let's get all the rest of this fruit in here. Okay guys, so now that this is done, I'm gonna put this aside. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I bought like six of them. The really cool thing is, is once you start eating off the popsicle, as it melts, it goes into this little cup here. And if it, it I could just drink out of it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's pour into, we're gonna keep this on. Let's pour into the popsicle holders. Put these back on. I'll set these in the freezer and by tomorrow morning, I will have smoothie popsicles. What a great idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this idea for a pre-op diet or shoot, even after post-op diet, when you guys, when you get to the mushies or you know, such as. So these are a great way to have a small healthy snack. It has no fake sugars, no sweeteners, it's just fruit. And I can't wait to try these tomorrow morning. I will be back tomorrow for another day of healthy cooking or talking about something. Or if you guys have a tag or you, want, you have questions or want me to talk about something in my experience, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Here we go guys, I'm so super excited to start this journey and getting healthier, a healthier me. So we'll see you guys all tomorrow, yay! I love you guys, ciao. I felt like I was puffing something. July or June 